Hey, you want a little belly rub? Oh boy. Look at that cute little guy. He's so harmless, right? No. No, he's not. He's a little bastard. That's what all he is. He's a little bastard. And I love this little bastard, but make no mistakes, he's a little bastard. He's a stubborn little guy. Uh, so I thought it was time for an Ollie update video because it's been a while since we talked about how Ollie's doing. Um, you've seen his obedience, but obedience is obedience, and that's not behavioral. So how's this little guy doing in life in general? Well, he's doing okay, but uh, we've had some issues with him. So we had him in a different crate, um, a larger plastic crate, and uh, he left us some uh, nuggets, some little surprise nuggets in there. So for a dog that's willing to go in their crate, um, you got to make sure you have the right size crate for him. So the right size crate is a crate only big enough for the dog to stand up, turn around, and lie down. The theory being that if there's no room for them to get away from urine and feces, that they won't go in their crate. So we've been doing okay, and I bought him this nice new crate here. Pretty swanky, huh? And it's just his size, and it fits. Uh, only one problem. So it's got this ridiculous like hole in the top. I have no idea what this is for. Is this for fucking whack-a-mole? Are we playing whack-a-mole with the dog? What the fuck is this shit? Like I don't get it. And uh, Ollie figured out that he could get this lid open and has chewed the whole thing to shit. Why do you need, why do you need a hole on the top of the crate? So I went today to try and find them a new crate and half the crates this size come with a hole in the top. What's wrong with the door? There's a door on the front. Why do we need a hole in the top to scoop the dog out from the top? Like, am I missing something? Is this something I don't get? Somebody put in the comments if you know why, because I don't get it. Like, and what is this hole for? It's so he can put a periscope in there? Like, I don't know, but it's stupid. And now he ruined this crate and it's garbage because the lid won't stay shut. So goodbye to that crate. That thing's toast. So I went and got him a new one today. This one, we have a huge version of this one uh, that we put our troubled dogs into, so to speak. So any dogs that uh, have an issue with crates or crate raging. And this guy, we got some bolts in this thing and uh, it is ready to rock. And it's just all his size, lots of room for him to stand up and it's just big enough for him to get in there. So we're gonna replace it and see how he likes this one. And uh, he's probably not gonna like it cause he's a little bitch when he's in crates. I don't know what his deal is. I give him a little bed in there, gets lots of exercise, and the only time we create him is after a walk with the rest of the dogs for about three hours in the day. And he's in there like 20 minutes and starts to squeak and cry. Unacceptable. So now he's wearing his e-collar. We've got comfort pads on his e-collar so that he can wear it uh, a little bit more often. And uh, we're going to correct him like on a low level, but enough that uh, his whining is going to be annoying to him. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the neck, so to speak. So that's the update here. And in about one second, I'm gonna put the camera down on the little tripod and I'm gonna get Ollie up here because uh, today is doing the dog's nails day. So I'm gonna get a shot uh, of how Ollie's coming along. So if you look back in my YouTube archive, you can see the footage of Ollie attacking my hands. I had the gloves on, I had the big Kevlar dog handling gloves. Um, when we first got him, he was attacking the living daylights out of my hands uh, anytime I'd come near him. And uh, some smart ass from uh, the US left a comment on my YouTube channel saying, maybe you should find yourself a real dog trainer and why don't you take this dog to the vet and have it put under and get its nails done the humane way. The humane way? Really a-hole? You know how many dogs die? You know how many people die every year under anesthetic? So you're suggesting that instead of training my dog and counter conditioning him so that he'll be willing to accept getting his nails done and who knows, maybe just be fine with it, you think I should take a dog to the vets and have it put under and risk his life to cut his nails? What kind of fucking comment is that? It's ridiculous. It's crazy, man. Haven't you ever heard of counter conditioning? For those of you who don't know what counter conditioning is, it's taking something the dog doesn't like and putting a positive spin on it, probably using a food reward, that's what we did, so that the dog accepts it readily. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna trim all these nails and show you. And if you want to see what it looked like, go ahead, look back in the YouTube archive. If I can find it, I'll put a link under this video so you can go back and see him attacking my hands. Okay? But he's been good for a few, like for two months now, we've been able to trim his nails, no problem. So this didn't take like months 
it actually took like three weeks to condition him so he would just allow me to, to trim his nails. So come on guys, let's get real. It's dog training, okay? It's not rocket science and I'm not gonna risk my dog's life by having them put under anesthetic just to have their nails trimmed. No way, no how. Worst case scenario, just put a muzzle on your dog, okay? It's safer than having them put under anesthetic. Why somebody would comment like that? I mean, that just shows me they don't know anything about dog care right there. Uh, if you want to risk your life or your dog's life, sorry, to, to go and get their nails done, then go ahead, but not for me, man. Okay, let's trim up his nails. Molly, fine. Good boy. There you go. All right, so I got some treats, and uh, the way it works is Ollie gets a treat after each uh, after each paw. It used to be after each nail. Now we're just down to each paw. Hey, pal, how you doing? Hey. What? Ooh. What does that mean? I don't know either. Okay, come here. That's it. All right, buddy. That's a good boy. Boy. Get that outside one. I think your dew claw is due. Let's just get the little tip off of there. There you go. There you go, my friend. Good boy. Okay? Does it look like I need to have this dog put under anesthetic to do this? Come on, people. Can we just get real? It's dog training. Okay, good boy. All right, that's good. I'm gonna finish up all these nails. And that's that for now. There's your Ollie update. Guy's doing okay. He's still a bit of a jerk, but I love him and I respect him for that. It's okay. I got his number. See you guys later.